Hey YouTube, what's up? So today I want to talk about a uh, subject that, you know, I don't think is usually uh, talked about, um, you know, from what I've seen anyways, and that would be clownfish and reef tanks. Now most people, the reason it's not usually discussed is, you know, most people consider them completely reef safe, much like they do most, you know, tangs, uh, basslets, cardinal fish, um, for, you know, for some examples. Um, you know, so most people don't really even consider it, oh, you know, maybe this uh, clownfish is not going to be is not going to be a great addition to my reef tank. You know, it's just they're so common and there's you know in reef tanks that it's never usually an issue. However, today I wanted to talk about some issues that I, I've been having with my clownfish, um, these two guys right here, and uh, also I have uh, been doing a lot of research and apparently this is not an uncommon thing at all. Um, what actually happens is the clownfish, um, especially once they get to, uh, larger, um, they really want to host. Um, you know, like in the wild, they would be using an anemone. Um, however, not all tanks, uh, you know, house an anemone for them to uh, to host. So, um, you know, look at this LPS cup coral right here. Uh, this, you know, has been, you know, harassed on a daily basis by this female clown here named Flo, um, constantly going up there and rubbing on it, and all the uh, polyps retract. Um, and it's really been causing an issue with uh, in the tank for this particular coral. Um, you know, aside from this coral, they also have been doing it with this uh, green frog spawn over here. Um, as you can see, it's shrunken up right now, just because it's starting to get a little late. But, um, you know, before I added these orange ones to the tank, back when I just had the uh, pair of black clowns, um, you know, this thing was huge. And the both clowns, actually, the female and the male, have been sort of trying to hit, uh, host it. And, you know, it doesn't. it's not an enemy, so it doesn't understand that, that whole behavior, so it just retracts. Um, and overall is not healthy for the coral. Um, you know, so that's one thing to consider. Clownfish are not always the best addition for uh, reef tanks. I have talked to a few people now, um, after doing more re research, that will not ha uh, house a uh, clownfish in their reef tank. They do not consider them reef safe. Um, these are also normally the same people that don't uh, ever consider keeping a, an enemy in a tank, uh, in a reef tank, safe. So. You know, it's just something to consider. If you're not the type of person that's willing to risk having an anemone in your tank, or if you're not maybe as experienced to have an anemone, um, maybe hold off on clownfish sometimes, at least larger ones. Maybe you can get them small and sort of figure out, figure out what you're going to do, but um, they are not always the best reef residents. Um, you know, they don't harass all my corals. However, um, this guy here was 50 bucks and is my favorite coral, this uh, LPS cup coral. And this frog spawn also, when it's fully extended, uh, the polyps is absolutely beautiful. So, uh, real quick, here's my um, yellow pyramid butterfly that I showed you guys uh, earlier today. But he is doing fantastic eating. Um, nobody's messed with him at all. No one's even looked his direction. Um, but anyways, getting distracted. Um, I will be purchasing a, uh, hopefully a rose bubble tip anemone to put in here. And they'll most likely go and host that anemone. Um, just to keep them off the corals, and it is a neat behavior that I'd like to watch without, you know, having one of the uh, partners in the relationship stressed out um, with the uh, coral and the clownfish. But yeah, I just wanted to sh kind of bring this subject to light, um, let you guys know that clownfish are not always going to be completely reef safe. That is something to watch for, um, you know, and consider getting an anemone if they're going to be doing that, or if it really bothers you, either remove the coral or the clownfish, because it's most likely not going to stop anytime soon. Um, but yeah, guys, I uh, hope you liked the video. Like the video if you liked it. Please leave a comment if you have anything to say at all. Um, subscribe if you haven't. If you have, I really do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.